Massive floods have become increasingly common, a stark reminder of how dramatically Earth's climate has shifted in recent years. Over the past decade, weather patterns have become more unpredictable with heavier rainfall and longer dry spells. Did you know that the 10 warmest years on record have all occurred in the past two decades? Warmer air holds more moisture, leading to storms that release vast amounts of rain in short periods. Some regions now experience a hundred-year flood every few years, making the term feel outdated. Floods are not just a result of heavy rain. Rising sea levels contribute significantly inundating coastal areas. Over the last 10 years, global sea levels have risen faster than expected, fueled by melting ice caps. <laughs> Did you know that Greenland loses nearly 280 billion tons of ice annually? Urban areas with their concrete landscapes are especially vulnerable to floods because water cannot be absorbed into the ground. In many cities, outdated drainage systems are overwhelmed by the sheer volume of water during extreme weather. Forest loss also worsens flooding as trees naturally absorb water and slow running. <laughs> Protecting wetlands is crucial because they act like sponges, soaking up excess water during storms. Did you know that wetlands can reduce flood water levels by as much as 60%? The frequency of atmospheric rivers, long plumes of moisture in the sky, the whole car is submerged. Crazy. Has increased dumping rain equivalent to entire rivers on land.
These shifts in weather patterns show how interconnected our actions are with the planet's climate. Every choice, from deforestation to over-reliance on fossil fuels, contributes to the cycle of extreme weather. Floods have far-reaching impacts, disrupting agriculture, infrastructure, and even ecosystems. For instance, freshwater floods can turn coastal estuaries brackish, harming fish and plant species. Scientists emphasize that we are not powerless. Reducing emissions can slow the worst impacts of climate change. Reforestation projects around the world are helping to stabilize land and improve water absorption. Flood resistant infrastructure like permeable pavement and green roofs is becoming a priority in vulnerable areas. Supporting nature based solutions like restoring forests and wetlands is essential for mitigating flood risks. The changes in weather over the past 10 years are not just numbers, they are warnings that demand urgent action. By caring for nature, we are not only protecting the environment, but also safeguarding our own future. <laughs>